Hello! I get asked quite often, basically on every single video, what is this autocomplete I've got on my terminal? And the answer is fig. Okay, end of the video. But wait! No, 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 there's much more. Actually, fig offers many more features than just the autocomplete. So let's see them together. Let's begin by giving a closer look at the autocomplete. Spoiler, we'll also see artificial intelligence later in the video. In this case, it can help you with commands, subcommands, arguments, and parameters. For example, here I just typed git, and as you can see, it will already list some of the commands. For example, git checkout. If I select git checkout, it will help me again with the parameters. And for example, here you can see main, that is one of my branches. If, for example, I create a new branch, as you can notice, if I type hyphen b, it will already tell new branch and tell me what the command is gonna do. So I can say new branch. And now, if I type again git checkout, it will automatically list the new branch and the main branch. One additional feature, as you can see, is that you can see all the flags, but also with git ch, you can see it will say alias for checkout. Where does this come from? Well, it comes from my custom alias. So fig not only can find checkout and cherry pick the dark commands from git, but also my own custom aliases. And also it tells what the alias stands for. For example, this is as simple as checkout, but if I type git lgo, if you follow my videos, lgo is my personal alias for log one line. And again, fig is able to autocomplete my specific command. One more autocomplete feature, other than for example giving me autocompletion for commands and parameters, is navigating the file system. For example, if I type cd, it will automatically fill the autocomplete dropdown with all the folders it can find from the current location. So that I don't even need to, to start typing because I already know what the folder will be. Anyway, if I start typing, it will filter the dropdown, as you might expect from a proper autocomplete. The coolest feature number two, right after autocomplete, is Fig AI. Well, we're in 2023, right? AI is everywhere and also on the terminal. Let's run the help command for a second and let's see that this will translate English from bash translation. For example, Fig AI, I want to um, list all files with the JS extension. In a couple of seconds, it will generate a script that we can execute edit, regenerate, or well, other commands. Let's say execute, and those are the files in this folder that have the JS extension. But you know, I use the terminal mostly for git commands. So fig AI can help us, for example, with git command to remove the last two commits, but keep the changes. And again, in a few seconds, it will prompt us the command that will reset soft two commits from head, that is exactly what I asked. Now it's not gonna work because I'm not on a git repository, but you get the idea. If you open the fig dashboard, you can see there are many other options, for example, script and CLI, where you can save your custom scripts or grab them from the script store. Why is this useful? Well, in the terminal, you can run fig run, actually, and it will, in a couple of seconds, get the list of all the custom scripts you have. For example, I don't remember how to get the current branch, I can just type fig run get current branch and it will run the command for me. I don't even need to remember what the command is. If you head over from the fig dashboard to my shell, you can find the plugin tab over here, where again from the plugin store, you can find a lot of custom plugins to even further enhance your fig and terminal experience. You also have this dot file section well, as you can see, I'm not really using it, but I probably should start because it's quite handy to have all the paths, secrets and scripts all grouped here in a single window. Oh wait, did I mention that autocomplete is also open source? You can contribute here to the GitHub repo and actually plugins are open source as well. You can just head over the Witfig page from GitHub and you can find all the open source repository they have. For example, like I say, the plugins is a repository, and here you can find all the plugins you can find on the Geek dashboard, and you can even add your own here, available for everyone. And that was it. This wasn't really a paid sponsorship with Fig, 
but I just wanted to answer to all the questions I constantly get about my autocomplete in the terminal. I had a lot of fun exploring even future fig because as you can see I'm not really using myself all the features it offers but now like I said I might start using for example the dot files features. And what about you? Did you also know fig or are you gonna use the other features it offers? Let me know in the comments. By the way this short video is now over so if you like my content feel free to subscribe to the channel there is a button here. And if you want to continue watching my content, you can click on the video over here that the YouTube super smart algorithm will select specifically for you. Like I said, we're in 2023, so artificial intelligence. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.